Um, so where we last left off, all the zombies got out. And then a whole bunch of vines started growing out from the ground. Uh, for fun, everyone roll a deck save to start things off. Oh, oh good. Oh, I'm good. so good at those. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was actually a really uh, good Mickey. Ah, oh, shit. Holy uh, shit. Who got the bad one? Me oh, at the moment. Okay. Got, a, got an average one. Okay, I like the holy shit. I thought someone got bad, but I just saw there was a natural 20, so. Well, I did so get bad. dexterity saving throw or just saving. normal dexterity? Natural one. I'm going to. Oh, no, no, never mind. No, you got 17. <laughs> Okay, I was looking at a pre I was I was up on uh, when I went to the chat. All I saw was a was a negative, was a uh, red seven, and that was my insight from last week. My bad. I got a seventeen. I'm good. I hope at least. Okay. Uh, so this one's gonna affect everyone a bit differently. Uh, where is Norfinus? Where's your icon? K twenty one. A twenty one. No, K twenty one. Second floor. K twenty one. Yeah, we're right. Four of us are on the second floor. Four Wait, of us minute. are on the second floor. And... I want to know: Does this dexterity thing do damage or no? No, no. Okay, cool. Let's no. make sure. All, All right. right. Uh, so in the meanwhile, don't worry, Dongo. This doesn't affect you. Uh, in the meanwhile, these deck saves because a whole crap ton of these plant vines have started shooting out from the ground, all around this fortress. Uh, I don't know how familiar you guys are with. One piece, but imagine a giant bird cage of all these uh, big, giant, thick, thorny vines. These are easily foot thick in several areas as the giant flower that almost does totally not look like a middle finger, as you can clearly <laughs> tell, it does not look like a middle finger. I don't know. It kind of does. What? You're crazy. <laughs> I'm yeah, pressing X to doubt. Demon, you dirty fucker. And I'm pressing X to doubt. That okay. is my middle finger. Okay. Um, so as the flower has uh, grown and bloomed more, sending more of these thick vines all around, this what? castle has been entirely surrounded. Everything is quiet. All you hear are just several sounds. Well, you heard the sounds of the ground rumbling and breaking and cracking open. But once everything is kind of, you know, settled down, it's all pretty quiet. Real, a quick question. So is this plant thick or thick? It's thick and viney and thorny and not fun. I'm going to kill it. Hey, stop just grabbing my usual Saturday night and let's get to the game. How is this, uh... See, I was there until he said thorny. I did not <laughs> make that face on it. Oh my god. Amongst... I don't we, do not, we do not condone using thorns on your butthole. <laughs> Unless you're into that. I'm not gonna judge. Hold on. I think this works too. I will. I'll see so you. man, do I have an anecdote don't about cats? <laughs> All right, let's get, let's just actually play now because yes. oh we don't want to annoy Ghost and Ren that much. All right. I mean, we do, but we also have a, a time constraints. Yeah. yeah. Alternatively, so they could be a cob of corn. Yeah. <laughs> so didn't kill it. Which suspiciously looks like a meme face that I actually did not intentionally <laughs> draw. You know, someone it. actually showed me a picture of a corn cob dildo w or, uh, a couple days ago. <laughs> See, I know the yeah. flower this is based on. I think it's a, a lily of some sort. Yeah, yeah, I know what flower you're drawing, too. It has a my, really thick stamen. Yeah, my dad's got one of those at his uh, apartment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think his isn't red, though. I think his is uh, white. Anyways, so amongst the entire silence, there is no sounds of fighting. All the cultists are dead. They've either been strangled, absorbed, crushed, or whatever. Jesus. But, uh... Messi, I want Benedict to roll a perception with advantage, because you're a big dog. This is going to be damn near impossible for you to not hear, short of double nat ones. <laughs> That's why you're getting advantage. 
Wait, double so if it's one. not a double nat one, then there's a chance? Oh, yeah, because advantage. Oh, yeah, definitely. One. Ooh, that was pretty close. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> oh. That's the flower. Yeah. Oh, I've seen those. So I, I basically got the coloration kind of right on it. Wait, so yeah. Messi did get a nap one then? Yeah, but I gave him advantage. Oh, okay. Because I, it was going to be damn near impossible for him not to hear this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I feel like people make a lot of fake plastic plants like that. They do. Oh, yeah. Uh, pride. This is also another fluff roll. Uh, roll insight. Uh, this is. I'm. I'm gonna tell you anyways, but it just kind of adds to how your character would. Oh boy! Would think. Insight the plant. No, you're not actually inside. The, good. Okay. Um, what it is is, Benedict perks up his ears. Everything is pretty darn silent, in this area here, and as you per uh, hear him perk up his ears, he looks over to the cliffside where you once were. Uh, it doesn't take long before you can actually figure out the sound of the oncoming zombies that were, you know, behind that fence. Everyone else seems to have left you two alone. Uh, Benedict, your Elizabeth is has wandered off. Oh no, <coughs> she's in another... <laughs> she's she's probably in danger, boy. You better go find her, boy. So many conflictive things. Zombies, flowers, towers, oh my. Uh and so yeah, as it is right now, there is oh right, so the reason why I made you guys all roll the deck saves, I had to kinda of wait for Dongo to come back also. Uh for all the vines that were shooting out through the ground. Uh, this was mostly just so you guys could all get away, and every one of you guys passed your deck saves, uh, to not get, you know, great big bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, I'm mostly just saying you guys are trapped inside this keep now, in a great big mass. There's a giant flower that's poking up above the great big mound, though. For at least, uh... Nope, nobody would actually be able to see this. Just the, the, just the shape. Okay, I guess Benedict and Pride would be able to just to see the proper dome because everyone else is indoors and then the windows don't really face the right way for mm -hmm. both Chantry and for North. Mm -hmm. um, all right. I'm going to change up the initiative order. We're just going to go straight across the board. So we're going to have, you know, Pride, uh, Grok, and so forth along the bottom. Oh, okay. Because this isn't so much a combat turn order as much as it's just simply turn of actions. What are you going to do? So not everyone's going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. And at the end of all the turns is when all the monsters are going to do their thing. So uh, oh, after Bandic's going to go, there's the, uh, the corpse flower and then all five of those zombies. Or six of the zombies. Six, or seven yeah, of the here. zombies because he, he let the one out as well. Yeah. There are seven zombies on this map total, including the other six that the corpse flower absorbed, but they're not really doing anything other than groaning and moaning. Mm. So, my turn. Hmm. And we're basically uh, now in a plant bird cage, are we? Yeah. All right, well, there goes that idea. Yeah, there's no escape. Well... I got spells that says otherwise. Plus, also, we got this teleport stone. Yeah, well, the one that you have. Oh, yeah. You've got to regroup. Exactly. All right. Well, I will move but I gotta get small. here, and I will cast Fireball on the vine. Fireball or Firebolt? Or Firebolt. Okay, I was going to say... Yeah, see, that's the same thing that happened last time. Uh, yeah, you hit it very much so. Uh, the ones on the ground uh, disappear, but hold on. I'm going to move these up. Basically, the ground all around you is, you know, free, but these are all up on the catwalk. I didn't mean to show them coming. Actually, I guess I did. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me... Let me let me click on it. God damn it! Oh, I no. Computer says no. All right. Uh, Computer says no. 
I get that what reference. I use as a bonus action. I am my turn because I have nothing useful against plants. It's a bonus action. <laughs> Why don't you summon one of your animals? Hmm, let me yeah. look on the list of shit that I can summon. There's my Feyote. Not much help in this situation. Then there's the bag of tricks. Yeah, that's Actually, what I was... you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Roll the bag of tricks. The giant elk returns. The elk is back. <laughs> at least we got an herbivore. What feeling would happen? We got an herbivore at least. <laughs> Eat your way out. Sure. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Just for flavor's sake, we're gonna have the elk go right after uh, your turn order, Pride. It's just easier this way because I yeah. really don't feel like putting up a turn order for these sorts of actions. <laughs> What's the elk doing? He's just probably nibbling, isn't he? Just grazing away. Uh, let me see, uh... Some of the lower hanging foliage. In a manner of, they, the creatures I summon from it are ba basically act in a manner they would unless I tell them to. So probably he would go and try and eat the vines. Cool. He walks up and he just starts nibbling, nibbling away at some of the lower hanging, uh, foliage. These, uh, these vines are thick these vines are like a foot thick in some places if not two feet so a hearty lunch then yeah he'll be at this <laughs> at one of them for a good time mm. but i mean hey there there are six zombies that are coming your way use them as a bulldozer like that one scene from lord of the rings or the hobbit i mean to say yeah battle of five armies i still need to watch that Oh, uh, my mic was off, damn it. Oh, shock. <laughs> anyway, so, I don't know how many times that I've used this bag of tricks, how many have been giant elk? Three. Uh, no, all but is, one. The funny thing is, because I didn't, I didn't know my mic was off, so you didn't hear me say it, but right before you rolled, I was like, go for elk, and then it just went to the elk, and I was like, yes! Mm -hmm. So I called it. I'll be honest, I was hoping for the giant badger. Are they herbivores? Also, I'm... Yeah, well, eh, mix of both. Uh, omnivores. Also, if that elk is going to be getting a good meal, heck, we might have to call him Dimble at this point. The rest okay. in case, Dimble. You know, no one, we have no I idea what happened yep, to him. They're omnivores. I know who I'm killing. <laughs> hey, you can't let outside of outside things affect your game. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Dimble, if he ever comes back. Somewhere in a far off land, Dimble anyway. feels a twinge of anger. Dimble somehow will have had uh, a, a necklace of uh, enlarge cast upon him, and he'll just be normal sized. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody will recognize him. And then his height will fit, and then his height will help make him like look more muscular because of the because uh, the fat and stuff with like heights and all that. Oh, I'm just noticing all the extra details on the flower now, all the the much finer lines. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, and I tried my best to uh, draw them in. Yeah, know. it looks nice. Mm. Yeah, it does Very look subtle. really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Considering it was totally, absolutely not a middle finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks more like a middle finger now. <laughs> okay, Grok, what are you doing? You are currently hiding like a little baby at the top of the stairwell. Okay. Uh, no, you're not hiding like a baby. I'm just teasing. Yeah. Oh, little uh, would I know that Shandri and, or uh, had we already established that? No. No, because they're behind walls, unless you have x-ray vision that you didn't tell me about. <laughs> well, you probably, you <laughs> uh, what's your passive perception? Passive perception is 15. Uh, I would say you probably hear some rustling coming from the other side of these walls. I mean, Shandri was looking through that one chest mm -hmm. uh, on her last turn last week. Mm -hmm. um, and she mm -hmm. failed to pick a lock, so you got to hear some swearing. <laughs> you yeah, know what? You I'm... break a lock picks. Mm -hmm. Roll me an insight. Roll me an insight with a low save, and I'll probably let you figure out that Shandri's behind the wall. Insight. Can I also do that since I'm here? On your turn. Yeah, yeah okay. go for it. I don't care. 24. Do oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Insight. Okay. I almost forgot. The giant 
the creature I summoned will even have its own, even has its own stats and health. Now, would you mind if I roll for its health? Eh, sure. The deer? The alchemy? Yeah. Yeah, I'll giant elk. Because I want to see if what Holy becomes shit. of its health. 57. Fucking yes. More than its, more than the standard. I have 42. Wow, lucky you. I usually go with standard because I have actually tried rolling out um, actual health rather than the standard, and uh, nine times out of ten, it pretty much gives me one or two above standard, so I gave up. Yeah, that was actually a really good roll. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. I think it's got more health than I do. Uh, speaking of uh, amount of health you do, you absolutely can tell Shandry is behind um, that wall. You heard us swear, your insight, your passive and your insight were good enough. Yeah, I I'll go start. And like, and would I see a door? Uh, yeah, it's not dark. Okay. Uh, Do I hear? The... No, you didn't hear, but you see Grok running off as if yeah. he has a purpose. Yeah. Is the door locked? Nope. I open the door. It's not trapped either. I don't like trapping every fucking thing, cause yeah. in real life, really. Right. Yeah. Also, I mean, I... why would they? I mean, like, why would these cults, like, cult people, just trap their own doors? I mean, they'd just get annoying to have to go back in there every now and then when you. This weapon. is clearly a bedroom yeah. or a yes. library. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. come on. Yep. Dungeons, yes. Actual personal living quarters, no. Yeah, that makes no sense. And if we did really encounter like... a, if we did encounter a trap door, that says a whole heck of a lot about the person who owns that door. Paranoid and hates everybody. <laughs> Ain't good at trap setting. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe, it, maybe a treasure. Maybe room. it's just call. Maybe it's just call from accounting pulling a bank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could be. But either way, the door opens, and there you see Shandri hunched over a treasure chest, kind of yelling a bit more because she's looking at her broken. You rolled a natural one last time on the lockpick. I did. Didn't you? She, yeah. I nat one. I broke those lockpicks. They're broken now. Yeah, so you, you, you kind of see Shandri. Um, okay, she's not hunched over anymore because she would have been swearing enough for you to hear it. So she's standing up at least uh, back to the door. Well, maybe sideways to the door because any mm. proper rogue wouldn't be that foolish. Yeah, she, she wouldn't. Could... Her back is not to the door nor the window. So. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Is it to the window to the wall? Oh, my God. I hate you. Her back is to the wall. Congratulations. That Of the <laughs> options, that is what is left. Uh, I, 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 I think, I think, Shandra, you'd be, uh, spooked a bit by a door suddenly opening, but I think you'd recognize Grok, who's not a very common turtle in the world you guys have. I'm not saying he doesn't exist, but. He's also not very stealthy either, so. Yeah, I've, I've got the stealth of a 450 pound turtle. <laughs> Bright green. Yes. Yeah, the uh, rush of water from the door opening will be... Slightly disconcerting, but once she recognizes who it is, she will mm. not uh, react violently or anything, so. Truth be told, if you guys were in an underwater adventure like this, someone opening a door, you'd probably fear the, feel the water pressure shift, wouldn't it? More so than air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If the room was already filled with water. Yeah. Presuming it is, because we are underwater, therefore... Yes. Yeah. Everything is filled with water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she would feel a shift in uh, water pressure as the water... The door, the door pushes the water against her because if he's opening it the way you normally open a door, which would be pushing it forward mm -hmm. and not pulling it backward, in which case she would be less likely to notice. Yeah. Yeah, that would make sense when you're going into a room. Yeah. So logically, the door would push water towards her, and therefore she would notice the door opening just from feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, the only doors that actually like push at, like push, like mm -hmm. you have to pull would be like as an entrance or something. Well, um, actually, <laughs> physics-wise, in a world with, if you mm -hmm. think about it, if we're underwater, there'd be too much pressure or resistance exactly. uh, for a door swing open and close. I think in this world, they would probably have sliding doors more commonly than they would have push open doors. That's a good point. They probably would. Yeah. I know we're getting really off track, but it's just stuff I never thought about in an under underwater environment. Also, yeah, it's a cool thing to think about. also, Ghost, I'm surprised you just didn't go with the uh, One Piece Fishman Island and have every settlement in a bubble. Uh, we did that before for the main village, but after a while, it I just kind of, you know, let imagination fill in the gaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, considering we can pretty much just, eh, like, 
Anyway. I don't know, it's like, seems like a lot of like extra things that don't need to be there in most cases mm-hmm. when you think about those things. So, mm-hmm. anyways, this whole complete divergent sidetrack is Grok finds Shandri. Yes. Uh, unless you had any other actions, considering you just moved. Mm. Are you going to uh, draw your I weapons? Will... I mean, weapons are probably already drawn, for... and if I'm being honest. You're not exactly in combat. Yeah, but I was is just like within very close vicinity of a giant Cold murder style. plant. Yeah. 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 But uh, like weapons, at least one weapon would be drawn. But yeah, safety wise. Yeah. You never know what's around. Yeah. Uh, I will basically just say like, Gentry, we we need to regroup and go. So if you know where any of the others are. Uh, Norfinus is just to the right of us. Oh. Would I hear him? Eh, what's your passive? I like fifteen. Letting pass. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, Grok. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, quick question: How how do I know how far I can go on this thing? Because it's going like through like one point something. It's going like through decimal. Every, each, squ- every square is ten feet. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's kind of hard to see the square. Roll twenty doesn't like... do it well. Yeah. Well, this is a uh, 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 um, a straight map from the book. I didn't take a picture. This is just yeah. from the internet. So it provided its own lines. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I see. Yeah. And by default, roll twenty does it at fifteen at five feet. Yeah, and uh, I could have probably stretched the map to fit, but it would have looked so disgustingly distorted. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. So we're doing it the old-fashioned way. I can yeah. see it. Squares. As it should Yay. be. <laughs> okay, uh, I get it. So, the most I could, since I can only move 30 feet, the most I could move would be like here then. Like, if I move, when I move on my turn, I mean. Yeah. You're going to be dashing? Well, no, because like I can move 30 feet. I can move 30 feet normally. And if I go like, One, if I go two, like diagonal, three. like if I just go like diagonal, wouldn't that work? No. You no. If there's stuff blocking the way, you have to go the way it is. Oh, wait, I see what you mean now. My bad. I was, like, mm-hmm. thinking something different. Yeah, you're right. If the space is open enough, you can do diagonally, but if not, like, in the hallway, you'll have to go, like, one, <sighs> two, three. Yeah, I get and there right. are walls and everything in the way. Sure. Yeah. Okay, the ninth. I mean, I'll be fine. I'll, I, anyway, I got it. Back to Grok. Uh, uh, but I... also, uh, I know, it's still Grok's turn. But, um... Din would absolutely hear the conversation. Even if he, though he's not looking, he would hear, Hey, how's it going? He's not that far away. Although, actually, there, he, I don't know if Grok would even see the door, because it's a secret door that Shandra's probably blocking at well, the moment. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't good. see that. Well, Shandra used the secret door to get in, so yeah. unless the door automatically closes behind you, she may have just not closed it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't think it would have automatically close. I don't think they have hydraulic hinges in probably this not. world. No. Especially if we're saying that they probably have sliding doors. And if it's open, I'm sure I can hear you guys better now since the door's at least open now. Yeah. yeah. If but... nothing else, you would have been able to hear because there's a window right here. And then there's another window right here. So you would have at least heard just from that alone. You know what? That's very good. I didn't even pay attention to those being windows, even though they are clearly windows. Yeah, and if you... Yeah. Again, if you didn't hear, there's a window here too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, but basically, a, a, the gist of a like Grok was like, so we need to find Pride and we need to get out of here. This place is going nuts. I left them at the ground floor, so I guess we need to descend. Sounds like a plan. Last uh, I saw, they uh, were wait. outside. Wait, they. We have Prod and a dog. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how you just how you use that. I uh, mean, because Brock wouldn't have met Benedict at this point. So. No, he yeah. hasn't. The only people who have met Benedict are Shandri and Bride. And Norfolk. Shandri had to take a oh, minute no. to like, because she doesn't know what race this is. She's just like, I am. A dog. Yeah. A dog, man. She no. was like, she did kind of like put her hands up as she was saying it too, just in like a uh, kind of gesture. 
You couldn't see uh, me do it because you I don't have a camera on, but she did do that. Yeah. <laughs> I already have a thing I'm gonna say when I see the, when I uh, see him now. It's like the clone high shrug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard a lot of people love that show. I never, I never even knew about it until I heard about it from like a top ten thing. Uh, the the uh, Canadian uh, animation. I only had one season. Yeah, yeah the yeah. the uh, the writer oh, for it yes, also wrote for Spider Verse, Into the Spider Verse. Oh really? Yeah. All right. So yeah, it drummed up a lot of controversy. Hmm. Mm. But, so, yeah. Grok, it, anything else? Or oh, sorry. Uh, that's. I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Sorry, I Just looked saying. at it. Yeah. I don't mean to interrupt, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You're good. It's your turn. Okay. I like I, I, I don't like not like nothing to like nothing about like my turn and stuff coming up and like that. I just I'm like I am trying my best not to be the not to be the one that like derails everything, like I usually am the one that does that and it's also like I'm like I kinda wanna get a lot I wanna ho I hope we can get a lot done too. Yeah. Like I wanna see if we can finish this whole river guard thing to in this session right. if possible. Send me the link and I'll post it for you. I know, I'm just uh actually it's a bad link anyways. Or a bad image. Now that I actually clicked on the website, it's like ah no, make it go away. Oh you, oh you can actually click the X. Yes. Can you? You can. Oh really? Huh, neat. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, I get you. Let's try this. Okay, again. well now it's okay. It's let's uh, do time. my turn then. Mm -hmm. Um. Well then, I'm go since I can hear you. I'm just gonna since I heard everything about like descending and everything. I'm just going to uh, quickly move my character over here. Would that be like? Would that be like two blocks of moot? Would that be like twenty feet already, or like I don't know what that's supposed to be? That will be. I think that will be twenty. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Then I'm just going to stop for a second and just. Uh, we don't have to worry about descending. Just when everybody's ready, just let's let's get out of this. Let's get outside and we can descend from the. Uh, we can descend using Brecky. We could just go out the window. No, you can't. They're too thin. <laughs> They're only like eight inches wide. Oh, the, the latch. Um... Oh, that latch. lot, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to go into this, into K20 with the rest of my movement. Or I'll refresh ready. We can just go through the latch. Uh, yeah. What Absolutely. latch? Absolutely. When it is Chandri's this... turn, she will move toward the latches to show them where it's at. Mm -hmm. Wait, All right. you mean latch to, like, the secret stairs or something? No. The one that Chandra and I came for. I forgot about that because it's been to get into K twenty one. Yep. Ah. All right, K twenty. The the guard room. Four bunk beds line the walls of this guard room. To the south, an arrow slit looks out over the castle yard, and a door exits to the castle parapet. Another door exits to the north. This guard room serves as a barracks for six crushing wave reavers. At any given time, two are on duty in blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, there are not reavers in here. I'm just simply saying there are bunk beds to, to sit them. Bunk beds oh, for reavers. It, actually, it is saying that four should be in here, but I've already established all the cultists are dead. So what you currently see is a horrible, bloody mess of where you can huh? see... Right here, where a door was, it is completely busted off its hinges. Where some of these great big vines right here have reached inside, and they had just made a horrible, disgusting mess as it reached in, grabbed all the cultists, strangled them, broke them in half, and so you just see big bloody smears. I was actually going to say that you did establish that they were cultists on the walls. Yep. So, wouldn't it be them? Mm -hmm. No, they're dead. Okay. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead, yep. Okay. Except for you guys. Yep. Everyone's dead! You're all dead, Dave. Everyone's dead, dead, Dave. Dead. Oh, yeah, that's... Jim's, the... Jim's dead, Jim. So, uh, so uh, what uh, you how see... About that, how about that Dungeon right. Dragons? Yeah, I was. that's what I was trying to get to. Uh, so what you see, Dongo, or I mean Din, is there's a bloody fucking mess in K20. I would not really recommend going out that way. You can, 
but there are tentacle lines kind of right by the door. Mm -hmm. Guys, there's blood everywhere. I think Dimble's here. Hey. Hmm. We'll tell you later. Long story. <laughs> you are forgiven. I knew that would work. <laughs> Does Din do anything else? Well, I, mean, uh, I can't really. Oh, uh. He just sees that there's a bloody, horrible mess. There's no treasure in this room. I'll save you that effort. Uh, there's garbage weapons if you want, like a spear for whatever reason. Um, it, do I see something sticking out of the door, or like, is the door busted open, basically? The door has been busted open, reduced to splinters. The door on itself is lying flat on the ground, and attached to the wall are just, like, uh, three hinges with just, like, splinters hanging from there. Like, this door was thoroughly just knocked flat down. <laughs> okay, then, uh, I guess since I already did all my movement, I am going to... Let me just check if I actually can attack anything with attack if I want to attack with anything. Eh, I'll just shoot some ball bearings at these vines since I have an since I have the uh, mm -hmm. the attack. I have an attack I can just do. So they harmlessly bounce off the vines. You they could roll a natural twenty, and it would maybe just be like throwing a penny at a great big giant elm. He's like, yeah, yeah, threw something at me. Wait, we can't destroy these? Okay. You can. They're ball yeah. barons. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, then how about instead I just throw my knives then? Sure. Like. All right, I will throw two knives then, because I can do that with my uh, my knives. Like, the thing is, if you're just throwing ball bearings, it's not going to do anything unless they have a significant yeah, amount of I force behind them. That yeah, I, yeah, you guys, when you guys told me, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. These aren't, this wouldn't break anything. Think of it like a tree. Mm -hmm. To chop down a tree is not one of those things that's like, I threw a knife, it's dead. It's like, no, it's something you're going to be working at. Something mm -hmm. you don't really have time, considering what you saw on the ground below you. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. kind of like if you're hitting a, tr if you're hitting like a really, really thin tree with another stick. Yeah, it's not oh. going to do much. Yes, okay, you're cutting at the tree, but it's... But by the time you actually, okay. Yep. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I actually clicked it when I was going to. But uh, does a twenty work with a chef knife? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a fucking tree. <laughs> Wait, oh, so it's an actual tree. I thought it was a vine. <laughs> it's a vine as thick as a tree. I'm saying it's like a foot or two thick wide. Jesus. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know that part. I thought you just. I thought you were just like doing a. No. Can I? I... Okay, I didn't. I actually didn't understand anything that we said. Then I'm sorry. It's okay. The entire castle has been encumbered, completely okay. engulfed in these vines. You barely can even see the sunlight around you. Okay, then can I take back any of the stuff I did? Because I don't. I had no idea what any of what anything meant with that. It, it that doesn't matter. There's not much else you can have done, anyways. Yeah, because I don't want to lose. I, I mean, I, I can have to go back to grab the knife, and I don't want to risk anything with like moving vines. So can I just um, say I didn't throw anything? Um. Yeah. Can I mulligan. Thank you. Sure. Can I quickly say something? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, based off what I did last time with using a, my main action as a dash, wouldn't Din be able to do that as well? Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I can use it. I can dash still. Okay. I'm Yeah, I'm encouraging everyone, unless there is something very much of important spell-wise, just start using the dash for 60 feet, because all you're doing at this point is investigating or trying to find a way out, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, then I'm just gonna dash, and then just go into the room that Chandry's in. Hi, Chandry. Well, hi there. There's big-ass vine over there, so we need another way out. Well, I was just gonna go the way I came in. She says she points at the open secret door behind her. Oh, cool. Also, if you're weak to blood, don't go there. Understood. Yeah, it's like someone decided to paint the town red and only, and only ended up with that room. All right. <laughs> Isn't that a saying? Like, let's paint the town red. Yes, or something? it is. But I was thinking uh, something not... else. Yeah, let's say. I was thinking like from The Simpsons. Red room over there. 
Gonna paint your wagon. Gonna paint it good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's from The Simpsons. Yes, it is. He's gonna paint I'll take your word for it. it. You could tell me a lot of things from The Simpsons, and I just take your word for it. Mm. We're talking old Simpsons. Yes. You could. Here's the thing about The Simpsons. You could be lying and still be correct because there's no way you've seen every episode of The Simpsons to know for sure. Oh, I stopped watching after season 13. Uh -huh. I know the exact episode, and I already had this conversation. And let's not get off on this sidetrack because Lord knows I'll spend forever. But why I don't like Simpsons anymore. So it was Din's turn. I've yeah. never watched The Simpsons. I think Din. Norfinis, it's your turn now. Okay. <laughs> You've just heard our conversation of, hi, we're going to leave now. Yep. Um, actually, I'm going to go with my normal movement, which, hang on. One, I know, you've got two, crazy movement. You've got like 120 feet, I think, total. 150 if I don't use a main action. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, it'll be, uh, uh, it'll be 90. 30, 30, yeah, 30 times. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. 30 times 30. 3. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use. I was thinking bonus. sixty. Yeah, I'm gonna use bonus action to do another dash. So I'm gonna go into this room and I'm gonna pick the lock on the chest Chandra was trying to get into. Oh right. Uh... <laughs> yeah. There you go. You, you switch over to do that, George. Like, oh well, all right, I guess. <laughs> you just slip next to her and start doing the thing. Yeah. Well, see, I actually figured out I didn't have expertise on my character at all. And I put. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to have some. Yeah, yeah. At least, I think in at least three things. Two. Like at level one. Yeah, two things at level one. You can either put a two in your um, skills, or you can put one in lock picks and one in a mm -hmm. skill. That's what I did. So I got one in lock picks and one in investigation. I, I, I really cheesed it with my one level the rogue, got the expertise from that, and then I took my level in lore bars, so I got expertise from that as well, so she's got expertise in a lot of shit. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so Shandri already grabbed all the books from last time, so this library mm -hmm. looks pretty bare. Mine is a phone book or two. What's a phone? Uh, but inside this chest, which obviously opened, it's not, uh, not trapped. Uh, you find a, a, a pouch that contains 80 silver uh, coins, 30 gold coins, um, okay. four, four jasper, first four jasper stones, uh, they're each worth about 70. Uh, you also find a scroll of haste. And lastly, you find another scroll, Wall of Force. Okay, so that's four or Jasper. Force wall. The four Jaspers, yeah. what were they worth, sorry? Uh, approximately 70. That's 70 gold each. Then it was one scroll of haste. Haste. And a scroll of force wall, was it? Yeah. See, so originally it, it's supposed to be a, a wall of water, but that's kind of stupid. So force wall pretty much accomplishes the same deal, if not better. Mm -hmm. And 30 gold. 30 gold and 80 silver. Yep. So... And so let's see, one, two. I still got some movement left, so I'm gonna head back into K21. I just tell everyone to hurry up, sort of thing, and so we can mm -hmm. get out of here. Oh, I probably would have heard Din mentioning that the room was filled with blood in K20. Yeah, these these walls aren't exactly like soundproof. They're stone, but you know, all the doors are yeah. open and whatnot. Where is K-22? I don't see anything. No, 21. Sorry. Oh. Yep, so I'm back. There is a K-22, just to say that out loud. Oh. Well, it's not up here, then. You yeah, can guess. A... You can yeah. guess where it leads. Yeah. K-2SO. No doubt. Ah, K-2SO. Um, but yeah. I just sort of quickly tell everyone to 
come into this room and so we can escape. Okay. Yep. All right. Shandri, it is your turn. She is going to proceed towards the exit. Okay. Uh, have a movement of what, 60? Yeah. So it's, it's 30 and I'm going to use dash, so and each of these squares is 10, not 5. Yep, 10. Yeah. Got it. You don't have bonus action dash? You didn't take enough in rogue to get that? Mm -mm. You don't okay. get that to level 3. I only have one level of rogue. Ah, gotcha. Just for that one um, good old sneak attack. Cunning action is level 2, but yeah. Four, five, six gets me to the window. Cool. Uh, oh. At the window, uh, I'm going to get this as a free thing. Um, the vines are like all on the outside, completely blocking. There's that latch is still open and all that, but everything is just Jesus blocked the whole thing. Just a they're not even like a great big wriggling mass as much as it's just simply all folded in on itself to get like a great big uh, plant dome. Cool. Well, I can I can cut through these pretty easily once it's my turn again. So there are these are the same ones that are surrounding everything that are like a foot thick. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be quite difficult without some sort of magic or even yes. a magical weapon. Eldritch blast. Mm. It burned through the vines earlier. She has no reason to suspect it wouldn't work again. Yeah, true. These are different vines. Oh. Those other she ones still, were just... She still has no reason to suspect it wouldn't work again. Okay, that's true. She'd have to try it to know if it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. She's not a botanist. No. Visibly, you would see that those other ones were much thinner. Uh, these ones are significantly thicker. I think she would still probably try it, though. Unless something happens between now and the next time her turn hits, that's probably what she's using her next turn for. Okay, no problem. Uh, I, I understand it might be a waste of turn. I'm just saying she would probably do so in character. All right, so that was all your 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 turn, right? Your movement, your actions, and mm -hmm. dashes. Okay, then we're going back to to Benedict. I'm conflicted on what Benedict would do in a situation. How high does Benedict's head go up to in this dome? <laughs> Oh, he's nowhere near worrying about that. He's like, what, uh, 12 believe, feet tall? Uh, yeah, Kaga-wise, he was medium. He went up by one. Uh, this dome would probably be about maybe 30 feet high. He is, he's totally fine. Yeah. Oh, wow. Besides, if each square is only 10 feet, technically, he would be one square. Besides, I'm, I'm pretty sure if Benedict wanted to, if he jumped, he could probably touch the ceiling with the tip of his fingers. Mm. But, uh, can, can Benedict use his amazing nose to try to get a rift of where Shandri is? Pretty much uh, be like, I need a head there to protect Elizabeth. <laughs> She's pretty far away. I mean, considering where you are, in, through... See, because there's that corpse flower. That really stinky corpse flower is straight between where you are and where she is. Yeah, that's why I asked. If not, then Benedict's just going to focus on the zombies he hears. Yeah, I'm going to say that's the case because uh, you won't be able to smell her. The corpse flower is far too pungent to block all kinds of uh, scents around. All right, In then... fact, it's probably even rather distracting for you, being as, as large as you are, and as pungent as it's supposed to be. Alright. And I'm just gonna say, as a point of reference, punching the tower is gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> for everything. But, so, uh, Benedict is gonna hold an action, then if any zombies start coming up through that path, he's... When they start coming up, he's gonna hold a firebolt. Fireball at them. Okay. Speaking of which, it is the zombies' turn. Ignore the green. I don't want to have to select every one of them individually. That's fair. So, yeah. what ends up happening is the zombies decide to swim uh, 15 feet up, straight up. And How as well a can the zombies swim? 
Well enough because float. underwater zombies. Yeah. They might be bloated. Okay. They're a bit bloated. They're they're probably uh So they're not like they're clearly not missing any limbs or anything. Let's just say they're zombie mermaids, all right? All right, that's fair. As long as it's a zombie of an aquatic thing, then this is acceptable. We can continue. <laughs> yes. Well, considering they were in this tunnel, they were in uh, that tunnel in K13, they probably spent a good portion of their time uh, underwater anyways. Mm. And in this underwater setting where most people are supposed to be uh, of the mer variety. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I... Go. I, I came up with a really bad joke last week when we were fighting. Uh, we, we my group in another D and D campaign. We got onto uh, we got a boat, and on the boat were a bunch of uh, mages, and you know, pirate not pirate, just uh, sailors with magic. And I said, "Oh look, they're mermages." <laughs> Why must you destroy all that is beautiful? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so these zombies get to about here. They they spent uh, 15 feet of their movement getting up, and they probably spent another 15 of their movement just going forward towards you in this beautiful lineup. Yes, Pride and Benedict are definitely noticed. Does this count for my... Yes. Yay. And it's you know what that means. Yep, because this is this is exactly what I had planned from the very beginning. So the fact is, I'm going to hold my action for this. Yay! <laughs> the DC 13 save. Oh, jeez. Uh, there's six of them. I'm gonna. I got a thingy here. You also want me? Uh-huh. Nah. Magic. All right. Well, I'm got a natural one and 18. Uh, a nine, 13, and an 18. Uh, and one more. I didn't forget. It only just goes up to six. And that's another natural one. Cool. So, uh, three of them failed horribly. I didn't add any modifiers either. So three of them have failed. So three of them are going to take the full, uh, 26. I got their stats right here. I don't remember what I... I'm pretty sure they're dead, but I just don't remember. Oh. Last time I remember with the zombies, they were pretty tanky. Yeah, these maybe not be zombies. These... Oh my. You have killed them by one. These... (laughs) These ghouls... Only had 22, so three of them are dead. I'm gonna say the the, the three in the front are dead. The other three that passed, uh, took half damage. Jesus. So, uh, do I roll for the wild magic to see if that happens? Because yeah, this just... is a non-cantrip spell. Yeah, roll the arcana. The Short arcana. of a natural one, that's all it's ever going to trigger on. Alright. <gasps> you got a five. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> I have this in arcana, so... It doesn't matter what your modifiers are. It's if anything, it's just a straight D twenty. But I'm just giving it for the flavor of Arcana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, now that those zombies have gone and you've held your reaction to have an action, it is going to be time for the the shambling mound to absolutely do nothing because he's way too big to get through that door. Good. The corpse flower. I'm gonna give him a. Sp- being a Rooney. He is uh, down here between the stairwells oh, and he's shit. reaching up. This is nothing. I'm just deleting this. There's always nothing. So, you know, he is uh, still right here, but you guys are all there. Yeah. Um, this zombie right here is going to bump into the wall because he's a stupid zombie. Those other zombies had an open gate. They were cons- gate free on these. This guy is not intelligent enough to open a door. Um, and I do believe I already made everyone roll their uh, constitution saves to avoid the stench of the flower. Yeah. He had to be within uh, 10 feet of it. Oh, yeah. See, so yeah, we're still fine. 
yeah, you yep. guys are fine. And if you pass, you pass for 24 hours. That's what the book says. Cool. Uh, cool. Pride, it's your turn. You absolutely can see those three zombies off on the horizon. Hmm. I'll move right here. All right. And this is 50. Okay. I will launch a firebolt at the large plant that's actually yeah the one that's blocking the door because it's right up the steps and in my line of sight yeah it would absolutely be right at the steps cool you hit it and that is a nice crispy 11 it doesn't die I'm just gonna move it here but instead of facing that way it kind of Changes its direction, having sense, motion, and hostility. Well, it's not shit. dead. But it's not really paying attention to that doorway anymore. Actually, yeah. And it's absolutely fine. It's got a, a, a nice scorch mark uh, on the side. But ultimately, it's fine. Oh, that'll end my turn. Cool. What about your elk? He's it currently still... Yeah. yeah, it's now its turn, and where you last left it, it was currently... I'm just going to say it was nibbling on some grass, like, right here. There wasn't really anything nearby, giant vine-wise. I could, in theory, use it to deal serious damage. Actually, I forgot I have its command of using a bonus action. Uh, I will say it has its own in this case. Uh, well, or it, you, you, still, it, you still have it a bonus has action. Its own, it, it has its own turn, but I can command it to do something. Well, you still have a bonus action anyways. Yeah. What you did with Fire Firebolt. Alright, uh, let me see. Yeah, that's more than 20 feet. Uh, let me see. What is its movement speed? 60, perfect. That's a, that's its normal speed? Yes, that is its normal speed. 60. Elk, yeah, that makes sense. It's a giant elk. Yeah. Elk too. All right, I will Six. use my bonus action to tell it to charge the zombies, or the, to charge the ghouls. Cool. Uh, giant. It is it the large side or huge size? It is huge. Okay, cool. I'm going to say it can get two of these three in one single attack. Well, how long do you think its antlers would be? About 10 feet, 12 feet wide, maybe? Uh, here's the thing. Its ram has 10... F uh, it has a ram attack, and it is a 10 foot to reach. I'm going to say it's going to be able to get two of those three. Yes, I know they're spread out across 30 feet. Uh, you know what, actually, sure. They're spread across about 30 feet. You can get two at a time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah thing is because it's moved more than it's moved like 20 feet and it makes a ram attack it has charge the target Roll has it. to s the, yeah do uh, it uh what's the dice roller rum and coke do it all right let me do set it. Up. all right the ram attack plus six to hit Oh no. Nope. Eight. Uh nope. Is that the damage? No, that's no. the hit. Oh. No, these these ghouls have an AC of twelve. Oh god, now I just picture the ram just trying to ram uh, the uh, elk trying to ram them and because I think of that it still miss, has it just... to make a strength save against it though. Because it's still charging at it. But it missed. Doesn't really... Sp the, for charge, doesn't really specifically say for the latter if it has to hit or not. Eh. Sure. If the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 14 strength save throw. Uh, or be both... knocked prone. Uh, they're kind uh, of floating in the water right now, though. 
So they're not really able to be knock prone. I'm going to say you hit it and that you bump two of them back. Not damage wise, but they're at least on. Get that guy over there. Nope, nope, nope. Get these guys, and they are pushed further back, but they're not damaged. Yeah, that technicality will allow me to use something else for it as well. It'll be so much more fun. Are you going to tell me that this great elk, giant elk, has laser eyes? No, it has hooves. It's a 4d8 plus 4 damage. Does it have multi-attack? No. Well, I think that would have had the trigger on the charge. Yeah. Actually, charge is just a bonus thing if it moves 20 feet and it performs a ram attack in the same turn. Oh, uh, okay. Ram attack would have been its action then. Mm-hmm. That's all the ult can do. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then it is Grok's turn. Okay, but the thing, uh... Zoom in to make sure I can see in the squares, right? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. I think I can't count that out right, but... Yeah. I'll have both blades drawn just in case. All right, and nothing is attacking you at that point, so that's pretty much your movement and your your action to dash. Yep. Cool. You are you're safe. You are not in danger. And we go off to Din. All right. Uh, I guess I'll move to the area that everyone else is. And uh, does um. Is this room just completely closed off? Like it has like a there is a there's a there's a, uh, a latch door on the ceiling. That's open. Yeah. So basically, next round, uh, the four of you guys will be able to swim up and out. Oh, okay. okay, got it. Uh, except for North, North can escape right now, and then Shandra will probably be able to escape on her turn. Hmm. Right. I'll, I'll right. try and leave with the bulk of the group, so I'm gonna spend my turn just looting the last two of the chests with lockpicks. Oh, sh shit, I forgot about those two chests. Uh... Yeah, you said there was silver in one and an electrum in the other. Right, I did. You just didn't tell me the numbers, so. Yeah, K21. Here we go. 22. Yep. Yeah. 25. Yeah. Uh, the one with the silver, you find 600 silver coins. Ooh. And in the other one, you find 450 electrum. Okay. No one ever uses electrum. Yeah. You want to just switch that to silver then? Because, I mean, no, it's the gold. It's yeah. higher than silver. Um, Higher than silver. I, I also less. like the idea of us trying to find someone to take this Electrum. <laughs> Do you take Electrum? The fuck's Electrum? You know, it's better than silver, not as good as gold. No, we don't take Disney dollars here. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take yen. And I'll just, oh. I'll just quickly, uh, with my movement, I'll just quickly move over with everyone else and that's it. Cool. All right, Shandri. Everyone has pretty much done everything in this room. K21 has nothing else left to explore in here. There's no more treasure. There are no more hidden doors. Uh, there's no one hiding in any corners. Yeah, let's leave. There you go. Yep. You get up on the roof, and then you can pretty much see uh, what you see on like the map around you, all these vines that have mm -hmm. gone up and over. Um, at the top of this, I'd say you maybe got about seven feet total from the roof to where they are. So you got about three feet clearance. I'm not saying it's dark, but it's kind of dark with the way these vines have, uh, 
folded in close to themselves. Like a bush, you know. So Alright, like... I'm gonna shoot it with my laser and see what happens. Pew pew, go for it. Wait, what? Oh, it'll just blast, okay. <laughs> That's a nice hit. Uh, yeah, you have hit it. I mean, it would be uh, really hard to miss. Yeah, I know. It, see, in, in cases like this, I came up with a good analogy. It's not so much that you miss as much as you focus the magical energy well enough. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you hit it. Uh, AC is like 12. Yes, AC is 12. Um... You, there's a scorch mark on there. You can kind of see where uh, parts of the vine are sizzling a bit. Um, it didn't die. It didn't wither. Well, but you definitely know you did something to it. Have I? Am I? Can I cut a cut a hole in it through this method if I just were as persistent? Eh, yeah. Let me roll okay. nature. Yeah, go for it. Before, before you answer that for me, let me roll a nature check. <laughs> see if I would actually be able to know that or not. I do have nature. I should be using it. Uh, I will give you some nature on this. Uh, you can tell you definitely did do some damage. You could tell that if you kept up on this, you would probably uh, wither one of these vines. Uh, but even then, with the gap in between about a foot, it would be a tight squeeze. And considering all the thorns around the other ones and whatnot, it would be a bit difficult and tight. Um... It would take some time. It would be possible. Okay, but it would take um, a long time. And I've already rolled the nature for that. I would like to take a moment to observe my surroundings also to just say, well, like, there's this. There's clearly other things in view. But I don't know if you want to allow me to do that on my turn or not, if I have to wait till another one. Uh, are you investigating or just perceiving? Because I always will allow passive. Uh, inves pa in investigate. I can do, I can take a passive perception. It's fourteen if you want to give it to me that way. But uh, yeah, what you can see is pretty much uh, the great big giant stalk. Even mm -hmm. you can't even really see the flower uh, too much. It's kind of poking its way through a lot of um, the dome. You can kind of see it kind of poking through little tiny gaps of the the, the vine dome. Um, mm -hmm. Everything has been completely encased in here. Um, so my movement was to leave. I don't still have a movement, right? Uh, because you took your action as your dash, right? Uh, so yeah, you moved your 30 feet to pretty much get onto the roof. Mm -hmm. And then I cast a spell, so I've had a movement and I've had an action. Uh, I will allow, we'll, we'll just simply say flavor-wise, uh, for your movement that you didn't just block the doorway. You got up and you used okay. your full 30 just to not block. Good. Yeah, you're on then, the roof then I, then well, I will happily move to the next turn, so long as I know I'm not in someone's way. Yeah. yeah you're on the roof. Uh, the vines don't really seem to be able to uh, lash down and get at you because they're kind of braided all mm -hmm. along themselves. Um, do you guys remember uh, Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent's giant black thorn castle? Yep. That's kind of more or less what I'm trying to envision. Uh, so at that point, it is uh, messy. Benedict, or do you have a good connection? Yeah, no, it was just my computer. Cool. It is your go. All right. Well, uh, Benedict is going to cast Firebolt on oh. the new zombie to him. This guy right here. Yeah. Ooh. You're gonna hit that elk. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll blow that down. Oh, well. Oh, no. Damage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Hold yeah. for damage. Not to be fair, the elk, the elk has high health. Yeah, he's got like 56 or something, 54. It has 57 yeah. health. You hit the elk in the butt. He kind of turns around, looks at you, and kind of snorts. And it's like, the fuck, man? Now look here. I may have good hearing and smelling, but my eyes aren't what to be. <laughs> Flavor-wise, we'll say that the corpse flower is distracting you a bit. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's a natural one on a magical spell. Should I just go straight <laughs> to the wild magic chart? Do it. 
do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sure. I think at this point, just roll me that percentile. Do you need access to the wild magic? Should I just read it off for everybody? You can read it off to me. It's a, a right. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I went oi because I hit the volume button on my microphone, surprisingly. Yes. Hmm. Uh, okay. Right. Here Accurate. we go. D100. 85. 85. I'm Sorcerer. expecting a giant explosion. <laughs> I'm expecting a unicorn. <laughs> no one fucks with a unicorn. I'm also oh expecting to turn everyone. Sheep. Oh. Oh. I got a rock. There are now two Benedicts. <laughs> <laughs> you have <laughs> you have cast mirror image. Oh, <laughs> you lucky fucker! <laughs> I was hoping for a disastrous okay. one. I got one of the good ones. I'm disappointed. Oh wait, no, no. This may I not mean... be lucky. Because he is a dog, and there's now another dog here. <laughs> He's gonna start sniffing his own butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah Barry and I work with dogs. Like, when today. Benedict sees the other, when Benedict sees the other Benedict, he's just like, "Finally, I can answer a question I've always wanted to know." Who's a good boy? How do I greet myself? <laughs> Probably more like, image? "Hey, who's that guy? Who's that guy over there? The Who is he? It's like Who is this?" Earlier. Is this an enemy? Who is this? It moves exactly the same as the original. <laughs> it lasts one minute. So it also growls at him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There are four Benedicts. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> Three <laughs> illusionary uh, duplicates of yourself appear in your space. Yes. Until the spell ends, the duplicates move with you and mimic your action. There are currently four Benedicts. Four giant Benedicts. So in short... Wait, can Benedict could will... technically suplex the giant flower. Can the illusionary ones do damage to other things no. too? No. Uh... I I think that Benedict should roll to see what he does about these other that's, three dogs that's what that I'm just showed to, up. That's what I'm trying to yeah. ask. Can I roll intelligence to see if Benedict knows what happens to all these just strange giant dog men? Yes, <laughs> but they're illusions, so they don't really have smell, so you'd be extra confused. So well, if that's the case, then maybe investigation, because that's typically used to see for illusions or whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to say disadvantage, just because it adds for more confusion. I hope we put an at one. Please get an at one. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Yes! yes! I'm I'm going to say with that natural one, you are forced to take your movement to try and sniff all three of their butts. <laughs> oh god, it's like a weird, like a weird square chain of movement. But they also move as well, and so you kind of get this, uh, this cyclone of just all four of them just trying to sniff each no, other's butts. No, it's a fucking, it's an Ouroboros, they're just fucking pit bulls sniffing each other's asses. Yeah, it's like uh, a dog died. chasing after his own tail, but there's four of the same dog. <laughs> you know, and here's, they're chasing each other's tail. Here's the kicker it's as so well. Weird. When anyone makes an attack against you, they have to roll to see if they hit you or one of the illusions. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Spinning, no one if they can... hit the illusion, oh. the illusion uh -huh. vanishes. I have a question. Yes. Pride thinking when he sees this. Pride yeah, that's would what I want. Probably to know what the fuck is going on because it has been proven at this point. Pride is knowledgeable about all things magical. Well, we'll an arcana you, then. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was gonna, gonna say. say I think that sounds, like, that sounds like an arcana one. check to me. Yes. Not that sounds one, like a challenge. Not one. Not one. I, I accept not the challenge. One. Not twenty. That's true. Yeah. 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 Close not, enough. Natural that's, nineteen. Oh, mirror image. Nice. I think you're smart enough to realize, yes, Pride is actually pretty smart when he needs to be, that they move exactly as Benedict moves, uh, move for move, so yeah. Yep. Yep. As a fun fact, let's say Benedict rolled an 84, he would have done damage. Two. <laughs> uh, if he had rolled an 84, each creature within 30 feet of you takes 1d10 necrotic damage. Mm. So only mm. him then, basically, yeah. yeah only, only pride. pride. 
No, pride's... Uh, if it's 10 feet, then pride wouldn't be effective. 30 feet. Oh, 30, 30 feet. feet. Okay, yeah, never mind then. Dungo, you're echoing yep. real bad. Am I? Pride would be hit. Yeah. 1d10's well, not that much. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, two D tens. One D ten. Oh, one D ten. So yeah, it's like not half, that. So potentially half of my health. Sure. Jesus. Oh, anyway. and the uh, the the damage that you would have done uh, would have been siphoned on a Benedict to regain his health. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. I wonder why that sounds familiar. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like he would have eaten you. It's almost like I I did that for a significant chunk of this campaign. <laughs> what would have happened if I got an 86 now? Same thing, mirror image. Uh -huh. 85 to 86 is mirror image. Oh, hey, at least you didn't roll a 1. Uh, 87 to 88, you cast fly on a random creature within <laughs> 60 feet of you. Does that include us? No, again, pride. Random within 60 feet, so I'd assume so. Yeah, but you're swimming already, so I would have found something else. Paul, grounded? The opposite. Yeah, grounded. sure, actually. I would have said grounding, yeah. I didn't know something. Alright, so now it's the monster turn, ghost. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, I'm gonna say, as a group, these guys all swarm on the elk that's right in front of it, because, hey, free food. Yeah, that was bound to happen. All jokes on them. Once they kill it, the food's gonna vanish from their stomachs. Yep, and you'll have another bean for later. Also, jokes on them. The elf's gonna kick their shit in. Yep, I know. They're they're Literally. stupid zombies. They are stupid zombies. That one can't even figure out how to use a door. All right, one forty-eight. Uh, they do not do that much damage. I'm gonna roll collective three d twenties. Uh, what's the AC on the elk? I'm pretty sure it's higher than. Uh... You say the number first. I got a 17, a 13, and a 5. It's AC is 14. Oh, okay, so only one of them. I'm going to say that this one, the guy that didn't get hit before, he's currently chomping on an elk. Four. Oh, shit, where is it? Uh, he's currently biting on a 4. Uh, I guess I should actually... Pay attention. 2d8 plus 3. Uh, 14. Oh, no. Oops. That was a ghast, not a ghoul. Even less. Even less. I know it really doesn't matter. I take it back. It did 9. 9 points of oh, biting okay. damage. <laughs> I know. Doesn't really matter. In the end, don't even matter. Now the elks gonna fuck their shit up. Okay. Hey, it's an elk. You lost the you, you lost the rhythm. Yeah, I don't even know that song in the first place. There was no and nothing really way. matters. And you're the bard. Oh, that's interesting. I learned something bard about who a is local. Not really. Yeah, not done a lot of music lately. Look, and the only time he did play music, he got a natural one. He lost his rhythm. He lost his rhythm and his rhyme. Well, I played a campaign where we have a bard, but the bard expresses its musical or uh, her musical talents with break dancing. So, well, you know, except actually... Pride clearly has a guitar. He said that. So. Yeah, Pride has a guitar. Yeah, he plays music. I have, I have an idea for a bard I want to do someday, where it's a goblin bard that uses rapping. Anyway, on the goblin, it would probably be a combination of country music and rap. I call it crap. I was thinking of gonna. I was thinking of trying to see if I can no. make him. No, like you do not combine part. rap and country music. That's why it's called crap. That demeans the val the little value country music currently has. It's slowly mm. turning into shitty pop music. Uh pop music. Anyways, put use this elf to put these three zombies out of their misery. Oh, boy, it's my turn. Yeah. Cool. I'm just gonna look at the elk and just tell it. Kick the shit out of him. And I'm a f fucking run. I'm gonna use my action to dash. Which one is it? 
three, four, five, six. Okay, I can move all the way up here. Hold well on. Right in the doorway. Yep, right into the doorway. Uh, Wait, what happened yeah. to the vine that was there? He kind of procked it to where it was, and he was able to get away fast enough. I'm going to make a roll. Just attack of opportunity. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, trust me. I've, I've, I've made sure to know whether or not it would potentially be able to do shit. I rolled a three. Oh, doesn't even hit me. Yeah. Wait, was there a giant vine blocking there before? Yeah. It's yeah. It, move. yeah. He distracted oh, it. Look. Okay, I didn't know that. Could, oh, I didn't know that was a... Oh, boy. Time for the elk to make its kick. What the hell did that look Okay. Like? All right. And weapon attack. Same exact thing. Yeah. It hits. Oh, boy. Now I get to do all of those D8. Oh, wait. No, I pulled that. It's just not the same if you can't roll physical dice. Yeah, I know. Honestly, if any of you guys get the opportunity to play in a real sit-down game... It deals 17 bludgeoning damage. It, it's dead. Oh, yeah, speaking of, speaking of uh, real-life dice and stuff, though, I was actually talking to Fran because she's done with her college and everything now. Right now, she isn't able to join back with us because she has to, because uh, she has a D&D thing she does in real life with some friends that can only work on Fridays. But once she's done with that, she'd be glad to join back with us. Yeah, of course we'd love to have her back. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're actually, me and her, we're actually talking about like what we're gonna do in her in her current cam in the campaign GDM yes. so that I'm in after it's done after it's done in a few weeks. We're gonna All right, it's Rock's and turn. It. Ben, All right, I guess I should. Yeah. My turn. Okay. Uh, where's the latch that they used to get out of here? Uh, I'm gonna just say flavor wise, if you just. Swim 30 feet, uh, just swim up. Yeah, that's all we did okay. anyway. So. And it's only going to take like uh, 10 feet to get up and then 5 feet just to get out of the way. Uh, basically, okay. unless you're planning on doing anything else, your, act your turn was basically just to get up and out, which you're yeah. going to do. And then Din, same for you. You're gonna get up and you're gonna get out. Wait, how much space is in the thing when we get up? When we get out, though. Uh, enough, enough that you, the four of you, could gather around this doorway and not cluster really too much into each other. Basically, your layout right now uh, is. You know what? Tell you what, uh, Shandri. I know it's not your turn right now, but I'm gonna allow you to roll a perception. To see if you can notice uh, Pride blasting at the vine and running up. I mean, you're on the roof. I don't know. Uh, That's like borderline. I do have expertise in perception. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, you would have seen him, and you would have seen a, a, a pink blur kind of running up the stairs anyways. Um, if you want to like, shout out to him, like, hey, we're up here. She'll whistle. Very impressive feet underwater. It probably carries quite well, considering mm -hmm. the sound resonance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? In fact, I'm going to say that the whistle would have also been enough to break Benedict out of his butt-sniffing loop. Oh, yeah. That's clever. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes, dog whistle. All right, so uh, Pride, I'm not even going to make you... I don't know why I said Pride. Um, yeah, actually, that's it. You're done. Uh, uh, actually, actually, it is your turn, Shandri, because no, no one else can really do anything. You you got your perception. I'll give that as a free. Oh, wait, North can move. Duh, he's up there. Yeah, hey. Um... Okay, so I use my movements to my normal 30 movement to get out of the hole, out of the room, and up onto the roof. And I'm going to use both both um, main action and bonus action to dash and head straight to the armory. Uh, I did count. Typical. That's about 100 feet. The armory, right, right? The base of the flower stem... Give me one second, I put the book away. Hold up. Other stats. 
That's how come I was looking around for the list earlier because I wrote down everything that was in the room. Right, armory. I think that was K6. Six. Six. Where you are. Oh, K8. Oh, okay. Oh, that's barracks, derp. Uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, sure. Go for it. You're at the doorway. The great big giant flower vine doesn't do anything. So, oh, you know what? There is this little tiny vine right here that is going to uh, lash out and attack you. I need those stats. Yep, uh, they are totally on my phone. Give me one second. My phone is not on me. Vineling. Okay, vineling stats. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh... Mega <laughs> sure. vineling. Uh, I had vineling and deep tentacle. I remember that the red ones were supposed to be the vinelings, and this deep tentacle he is going to try and grab at you with a three. You're fine. Yep. Here, I'll give you a spoiler. Mm -hmm. The deep tentacle only has an AC of 10 and 7 hit points. The red ones, the vinelings, they have an AC of 10 and 4 hit points. Uh -huh. You could have pretty much farted on it and it would have died. Yeah. Oh, so Pride's basically just burning them to cinders then. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The Vinelings actually have more AC, but I've still garbage uh, hit points. Yeah. Anyways, it missed. You are at the doorway of the armory, but that is your... I still got, like, um, 20 feet left, so I'll open the door. If that's okay. Well, you have to swim down. So where were you here? You're gonna, I'm going to say you're, like, right about here. So I'd be like... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, eh, yeah, okay, math. Yeah, that's I did count it, so. And, he had, about 20. and he had like 120 feet, so there's about 20 feet left. I, I'd say 20 feet lets you just clean house. Well, what? I'm going to say that you get into the armory, but it's going to be an, a full action on your next turn to grab everything. It's not one of those things where you can snap your fingers and have it appear yes. in there. That's if fine. a turn is six seconds... Yep. Alright, your next turn will be in there. Um, you don't sense to seem any danger. The little teeny tiny vineling? <sighs> Again. Yeah. It might reach out for you on its turn. Okay. And that's everything? Yeah. I can't do anything else. Cool. Shandry. Shandry? Mm hmm. Uh, it's your turn. Mm hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so many times uh, you get people to just turn off their mics. And I wasn't sure if that was the case. Uh, no, I, I mute between turns because I like paying attention to this, but then I also like watch videos and stuff and I don't want to disrupt. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, she doesn't know about the... F Did she, would she know about the flower? Did she see it before all this was going down? Uh, the Did main flower... Before in the, in she went into the... You you can't help but see that. Uh, it's a great okay. big giant stem uh, above uh, the one building going abo up above the dome. And you can see through little cracks this giant flower that she has... She watched where Norfinus went, too. So, I guess she would just follow him. Okay. Not quite as far as he went, because she can't move as fast as he does, but I might she'd get about halfway. Uh, I want you to roll me a perception, because you're kind of scanning around where Norfinus went. Yeah, okay. Uh... Okay, what well, I'm going to give you on this, I had something else in mind. Uh, you definitely see Benedict... Mm -hmm. uh, I think Benedict is going to uh, notice you at this point because he'll have perked his ears up and all four of them now. Uh, you <laughs> did not see four dogmen, giant dogmen as well. Uh, you didn't see four of them before. But they have all four noticed you 
uh, oh, starting to swim this way. <laughs> oh, good. They're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> he, they all look very happy to see you. <laughs> well, that's better than the alternative. Yay! The Canadian visual effects artists are multiplying again. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, because now it's Messi's or uh, Benedict's turn. All four Benedicts have seen uh, Shandri, or they've seen Elizabeth swimming along. Okay. Wait, so where is Shandri on here? I'd probably be like here, but well above ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't start swimming out to where uh, Norfina swam off to for the one room? Yeah, I'm heading in this direction, but I was like up. At a tower, and now I'm swimming downward and to. Right, I forgot you can't dash like he can. Yeah, I can't yeah. dash, so I'd only make it about half as far as he would have gotten. Yeah. Okay. I was looking every end of this entire map and couldn't find North. He is so stealthy; he has already <laughs> vanished from the map. Yep, I'm standing so still. So still. Say there. <laughs> okay, boy. What is Bandit gonna do? Okay. While seeing it, his Elizabeth, he now has a new vigor to get rid of all the bad. There's two fire. of them. He's gonna use Fireball. <laughs> Go for it. Nat one. Nat one. Oh. Fireball. Alright, uh, uh, I need also that elk to roll the deck save as well. Oh, I'm going. Because I'm not even going to roll for the zombies, even if they were to pass, they're dead. Save. Oh, yeah, there's thank you for the arcana. Mm -hmm. So while all four of the Benedicts do the motion of cast one actually cast it. The elk is fine. <laughs> but it still takes half damage. Mm-hmm. Which is a whopping... 18. Wow. Wow. I know. Jesus. Elk still doesn't That's really care. Damage. That's a lot of damage! Oh no, we lost Dongo. <laughs> oh no, my bad. My, uh, my, I turned off, I, uh, turned off my mic so people could... No, like, no, you, you left, no, you, uh, roll 20. Roll 20. I did? Yeah, yes, it is down to like 36 health. Wait, why did Benedict hit the elk? Did he just miss or? No, he just didn't care. He just wanted to get it uh, all at once. Yeah. It, oh, okay. Um, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Fireball is just a giant radius. Right. Yeah. yeah Fireball. AOE. Okay. Yeah. That is not what I expected him to look like. <laughs> Ah. Okay, then. Well, um, also very good on the vines. These vines are divine. Uh, cool. You still have your movement. I. Uh, then it's just gonna move. Asanji. You, you gotta move all four of them at the same time. <laughs> Fantastic. By the way, don't forget. You also do have that movement bonus because of, uh, enlarge, reduce. Yeah, that's about as far as gonna move. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and How can I, I also deactivate the enlarge spell? Uh, yeah, that's that. You could have done that whenever. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna do it. So now Does he even have control well... over it because <laughs> it was done by... No. Oh, wait, enlarge, reduce. Was that, no, I was thinking Wait, was that a wild magic thing? Or no, did no, cast no, no. In large reduce was him casting it. Yeah, right. no. It, it was me. 100% Benedict. The Dang. other three Benedict. Not out of my control. But so now, which did, is the original? Did, didn't Grok not see the uh, giant dogman or no? No. Uh, it took their action <laughs> just to get through the doorway. Yeah, we I mean, have. We have damn. Yeah. I'm tempted to. Just we so have we no idea who Benedict no even is. No. <laughs> just make sure you don't know who. 
All yeah, right. That ends my turn. Zombies are dead. Uh, the shambling mound is still stuck in the room. I get the feeling oh, I it's gonna. To it. I get the feeling it's gonna break out of there soon. No. Like I clicked on that shambling mound too much, and now it's locked. No. <laughs> I, I can't move it. Uh uh uh. Hey. Anyways, and then uh, this guy actually give, uh, give me one minute so just to recap who knows Benedict it's Chandri Pride and Norfinus Norfinus did not Norfinus did not see him grow big and Grok and Din has not seen either mm -hmm. I'm sure Norfinus was giant Benedict on his way down yeah probably yeah oh, no, he, he was dashing so. It at best just out of the corner. Yeah. Anyway, uh, where we last left off, the corpse flower is trapped in this room. The shambling mound is trapped in the chapel. The zombies are dead. Good. All that's really left are just all the vines that are currently around uh, the keep, and a couple, one or two baby little tiny vinelings. Whose turn is it? Uh, actually, it's Pride's turn. Yes. Oh boy, Pride will. One, two. Now I have something to say. The um... fucking, the giant corpse flower is still on the balcony, right? No. Uh, it's pretty much in the middle of the room. Am I able to see it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, you can see us. Can say, oh, you got a roll. No, you're not within ten feet. Um, but you can smell it. It is pretty but I foul. I can see it. Yeah. Sorry to cut in, but didn't Pride sure. hear Chandri whistling to him? Yep. So why would Pride go into the building if he heard Chandri? You would have heard Chandri on the roof. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize they were in the. Yeah, way. you uh, yeah. when uh, when Chandri whistled that you uh, you saw that uh, she was on the roof. Right. Mm -hmm. So logically, I mean, unless Pride was absolutely morbid about going inside, then I going inside move. the blood room. Mm -hmm. Well, Shandri also swam past you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, th I'm not. I'm just moving your character for a second. Technically, like you'd be here, and Shandri would be like absolutely within your visuals. Yeah. Anyways, there you go. Back there. Oh, and right. Will probably try and figure out where everyone else is. Well, uh, actually, you probably can't even be there. You have to be there because all the vines. This is just simply uh, the inside view yeah, right. of the area here. Yeah, like we're just like on the ceiling. Above, we're on the roof above that, though. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to see us, I'm sure. You'd probably just see Shandri because she got out. She got into view. And how would you guys be in the building, then? They're also we're on the roof. In the building. They're on we're the on the roof. roof on the building. I don't have a map for the roof. So it's just implied yeah. that they are on the roof. We're all out of that building. Yeah, mm. no one's inside the building anymore. Yep. Eh. Brad will just work on making his way to where <laughs> Jandre whistled from initially. Well, she would have passed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, physically, she would have swam right past you as Norfinus uh, swam off to the barracks, and so you probably would have seen him swim past you above. And then Shandri pretty much followed because uh, those two of them got out, have more movement, and so they got out before uh, Din and Grok did. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you're just kind of waiting for Din and Grok to get back together with you guys. Um, and then North can get back on his turn in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So just so I have something I can do, I'm pulling from the grape, from the bag of tricks again. Can you have more than one? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. no. Summon another oak. I can have, I can pull out three at one. I can pull out three things. Oh, shit. The panther's now here. Uh oh, kitty. The dog well, has seen a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> King King Kachala, what are you doing here? <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Alright, now. By the way, did you guys know there's actually, in fact, no such animal called the pla the panther? 
is actually just a black jaguar. Yep. Huh. Or a and leopard. It's a science so, facts. Yep. Okay. That's a science fact. Yeah. Hey, Biology. Uh, ghost. Uh, yes. Sure type of science. Ghost. What? What? What do I have to? To have Benedict, Benedict not go for dog seeing cat. I, I'd assume an intelligence. Huh. Constitution. Panther. Surprisingly, not okay. is dexterous or strong is a giant elk. What do I roll? Wisdom. I I barely heard anything because. Of... I think just roll a Constitution save, just okay. to have enough willpower. That would be wisdom, wouldn't it? <laughs> I got a trail. The constitution, I think, more like, you know, your body handling, like, toxins and alcohols and that kind of stuff. Mental constitution, mental fortitude from his instincts? Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. I'll let you re-roll that. Unless you want to just okay. take this the roll and just put the modifier of whatever wisdom is. That's a one to win. So that... Even lower. Be a nine. Whoa! So, so it would be smarter to try and possibly re-roll... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, without just adding on the bonus instead. That's a nine. <laughs> the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was accomplished. The RNG <laughs> gods are not impressed. They just want to see this happen. <laughs> I kind of do as well. <laughs> Who, who's right. more scary? The giant man dog with that there's like four of them? Or the black pant? Or the black jaguar? That just came into existence. I don't know. Which you one have does... got to protect Elizabeth from this evil, evil cat. I'm gonna have a little intimidation. <laughs> Wait, is it actually your turn? I want a little intimidation. Yeah, on your just turn. Just to scare it off. On your turn, we'll have all. We'll go through all, right. all this stuff. <laughs> In the meanwhile, I think we now have um, Grok and Din. Who would have totally seen Norfinus and Shandria just swim off the side of the building? Same. I will follow suit, follow where they went. Uh, as you get there, I think you can clearly see that there is four dogs who you have no idea who they are. Yep. Uh, they are growling towards Shandri at this point and a panther. I don't think. I don't know if you would know what was going on. I would not. No, he wouldn't. Kind of... You would probably would think that Shandri is in deep trouble with a panther and four dogmen. The thing is, when she gave him the context of, like, who, yeah, was, I know who was down there, the... she didn't specify if the dog was a good or bad thing. She just said dog, so... <laughs> and you only said one dog. Yes. She did only say one dog. And there is also now Pride standing uh... beside this panther. To be fair, I yeah, think. If he... Oh, sorry, go. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, gonna... no. Uh, if Pride would be standing next to the Panther, uh, but he doesn't seem scared or uh, um, mm -hmm. intimidated or in action against the Panther, uh, as opposed to standing with it. And if now you've Pride's got confidently next to a fucking Panther. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now you've got four dogmen growling towards Shandri, the Panther, and Pride. I. I think it might just be an assumption that these dogmen might be your enemy. I mean, are, are they showing any... But I can also read Pride and Chantry's faces, seeing how they're reacting. You know what? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> if they have zero reaction to four growling dogs... I think the reaction will more likely be, why the hell are there four dogs now? Yeah. <laughs> Roll me that insight. I'm I'm making shit up. I mean, I'm trying to stir the shit at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... I kind of... Thing... Oh, sorry. 20... Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can read the room. Mm -hmm. Brian the knows exactly I... what's going on. You can definitely tell that. About this situation, not the plants. The only thing I'm wondering is, um... Who let the dogs out? Woof, 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 woof. You're gonna kill him again. You, you know... He let himself out. It would've out. actually been a funny joke if you had le uh, left out the woof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's just my joke. I have to ruin it. Anyway. Um... So, your insight was good enough to see that, that there's four dogs, but 
The fact that Shandri and Pride uh, don't seem to be too worried. And you're probably just looking at Pride with the, the the Panther and just I don't know, thinking, okay, yeah, okay. I, I was just like uh, I am way too sober for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh what are you gonna do? Is that your full turn you're gonna take? Yeah. All right, uh, then Din. Um, so right now I'm on the roof, right? Like, I'll I just like he, I can't... yeah, and you've seen everyone just swim off the side, and you kind of hear uh, a bunch of noises coming from the side. You hear uh, one dog growling. Um, you probably hear a panther crying out after it got summoned. Um. And then, like, above me, like, how far above me are the vines and every, like, the dome, like, the dome set up? Above you? I said there was three feet for Shandri, but above you, there's Oops. probably about seven feet. Yeah, because I'm taller, because, like, I'm shorter, so I can, like, I can basically stand while, like, um, like in this kind of thing. I thought you said it was seven feet for Shandri. Did I? Actually, I'm pretty sure you said three feet. Uh, yeah, I said um, it's seven feet total, so she has three foot clearance. Okay, is what fair I was enough. trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my character, since he's short, yeah, and in this kind of like stand on this roof and not get affected. And... Yeah. Um. Uh. So, after, like, if I'm at the edge of the roof and I send and I put out Bre and I send out Brecky. Like, say, like, not like the edge of the wall, but, like, if I'm going in towards... I'd be able to get on Brecky? Uh... Yeah, sure. It might be a little tight, because it's only seven feet. Yeah, okay, sure. You can get on Brecky. It'd be tight. Well, no, like, I mean, like, uh... You know how she sw they swam off the roof? Like, if, oh, say, I get okay. to the end where I can jump, where I can jump off the roof, could I just put Brecky there so I can just get onto his back, like, when I'm, like, when I get off the roof or something? Everyone swam. You guys all are, are are underwater, you know. Well, yeah, but I still kind of want to have Brecky and like you don't something need Brecky out in right every now. situation. Well, I also kind of want to see if I can use this. Vines. You want to what? You cut out. Yeah. I want to use his acid teeth to burn through the vines that are surrounding the dome. Because mm. shouldn't we tell those people who are waiting outside to like get I away think, from the place? I think they can see a giant plant dome. Yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 I think it's kind of hard to miss. The vent of the matter. Come try to come in to rescue us. Well, maybe they yeah. are. The fact of the matter is, they are either retreating or planning on nuking this place. All right, fine. I'm just gonna. I'll just whatever. I don't need Breck or anything. But uh, in case, but in case of a fight, I will bring out Bubbles at least, since he can fit better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then me and Bubbles are just gonna jump down and join everybody. And I'm, I see everything that goes on. I'm just gonna be like. So what did Pride do this time after just seeing the four dog panther and stuff? Pride only made a panther and an elk, and the elk is way over uh, towards K-13. Mm -hmm. The four dogs? I mean, sure, if you want to assume that Pride is responsible for all the dogs. I believe he is, because I, I think mean, he, what has Pride done now is an in-character question upon arrival. Yeah. Hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> I like how the zombie I have in the background moaned at the exact same time as everyone agreeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys are pretty much all together. Um... Benedict, what are you doing with now that there's a giant cat there? Oh, you want to roll intimidation. Right. I will it? Roll it. You skipped people. I skipped both of you guys again. Oh. I am dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, North, we know you're clearing out the room. You're just throwing everything into your uh, handy haversack. Yeah, so... Based off what you said last time, is everything still in here? Yeah, everything was still in there. Okay, I put as much stuff into my bag as possible with prioritizing the crossbow bolts, the arrows, um, 
the spears. Basically, I try and get everything in there, but I'm prioritizing the crossbow bolts and the arrows. Uh, depending on how how wild you were going to go, the crossbow bolts and arrows, you'll be able to get in there pretty quick. But if you were to stop and take the time to take all the spears and the swords and the armor, and like, if you were to take everything in this room, that would also burn your movement actions. That's fine. Okay, then you, you're going to stay in there, and I'm going to let you have everything. Yep. And that will skip your turn. Okay. Uh, Shandri. I better start. Uh, looks like up. we're all back together then. Most of us. <laughs> I guess it's about the time we want to put together a plan on what we're going to do about, um, she then gestures to plant. And then Ever. up to the dome. Uh, well, we have a way to get out. Out of this. Without having to fight our way out. But of course, the one who's absent has the uh, item we need for it. Yeah, we really need to break a few chunks off of those stones after we get out of here. Are any of us good at digging? <laughs> oh, there's no need to worry about that. Well, let's just... Just everybody just probably want to group up at least. Well, I'm fairly certain Norfinus went into the building that has the giant flower coming out of it. So, I guess we can make our way over in that direction. And yeah. Formulate a plan then. Yeah. She's going to go over there. Okay. Oop. That uh, one little vineling is going to an attack on you, attack of opportunity on you. It's, it's, it's fuck all. It's tiny. That's a five. Yeah, it doesn't make it. Yeah, it, it, just, it, it. She just keeps going. I'm not having very good luck rolling tonight. I mean, considering what you've been rolling, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Or I should say, what you've been rolling for. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There are certain uh, cases where I'm okay with the DM having low rolls. Uh, you still have an action if you wanted to just uh, go pew pew on the tiny little vine. She feels kind of bad for it. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's all shrivelly and so, looks as though it's probably overwatered and kind of limp and all that stuff. Oh yeah, there was a thing that I was going to do though. I wanted to roll um, another nature check to like so what kind of flower is this exactly? And like, what's the dome made of? The That's dome sort of is made out of uh, you I'm going to even... roll the check first before you start telling me stuff. I'm going to make sure I can actually know this stuff first. Okay. Uh, the dome is made out of very thick vines, uh, and yeah, thorns. Like, what, exactly what kind of plant? You don't have to, like, give a name for it. Just would Shandri know what kind of plant it is? Uh, you know well, what kind of plant the flower is? Would she have though, any idea what would cause them to grow this large in this kind of way? Yes, uh, even though we have the flower bloomed on the map, mm -hmm. I just wanted to draw a middle finger was all. <laughs> um, the flower in itself is actually uh, not fully bloomed yet and you're kind of getting in a, a bit of a smell even though you've left the grape uh, the main uh, the main hall you're kind of starting to get a bit of an early tickling of aroma that this might become if left unattended a giant corpse flower and Lord knows how bad that smell is going to affect the land all around it. Mm -hmm. What the fuck were these cultists doing here? Hey, y'all. Um, the escape plan might need to get changed, because that thing's going to be bad news if we let it bloom. Bad how? I do believe that might just be another corpse flower, except it is very big. 
and uh, roll roll me uh, an intelligence. Sure, wait, no, wait. Intelligence. You never saw the other corpse flower in the other room in the oh, main hall. Oh, yeah, did she you? didn't. So just change the way she said that. Yeah. And she just yeah. didn't say another. Fair enough. I can roll an intelligence check though, if you'd like. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll me an intelligence check. I'll give you something else. I'll give it to you anyways. Uh, you knew that there were cultists everywhere? Hmm? You haven't seen a single body. But you've seen a lot of blood. And you know what? I think it's had a lot to eat, too. Hey! Is that one? Uh, the one in, in, uh, outside the kitchen devoured. But, uh... It ate wanted. six people. It ate everyone. That, that is that is what they do. They they eat people, and uh, other things of corpse flowers. I should look up horse flowers because she clearly knows about them. Hold on, horse flower. We'll call this one Audrey Three. <laughs> okay. Feed me, grab. Mindless and immobile. I'm gonna feed. Isn't that like the little pet shop of horrors or something? Yeah, little Audrey Two. Uh, was uh, the original, and I'm just calling this one Audrey 3 because now it's the third bigger one. And there's a bonus ending. Um, there's two endings to Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, yep. There's the, reg the regular ending where they kill the flower, and then there's the uh, alternate ending where the takes flower over the takes over the world. Of course. Like okay. giant size. So, um, some things we're going to need to be doing. Uh, the smell of it can paralyze and kill everybody. So try not to inhale too hard. It's, um, a plant, so we can't talk to it. We can't poison it. We can't put it to sleep or paralyze it or stun it. Um, can't turn it into anything else through magic. And, uh, if we do kill it, it will explode into a burst of compressed gases, and it will spread its poison across a wide area, and just poison everything around it. How so, long would it take for it to explode when it dies? I'm well, pretty much automatically, just immediate, I think. Just, what if just we second. burn it? What if Wait. we burn it? That'd I, be kind of like setting off a, a much I, bigger I think explosion. that counts as killing it. What if we knock it down? Would it die when it hits the floor first, or...? I, again... I think it will just explode. Uh, Pride, I want you to roll an intelligence roll, and please... Please let it be a good roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh... That's wishful thinking, I guess. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give it... Uh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. It's because it's it's situational. Who is there? Uh, Norfinus, give me an. In no, you're not there. You. Yeah. I'm in the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Give me an intelligence roll, Norfinus. Oh god, my intelligence is a lot worse. Huh? There you go. You're. Um. You could remember that when you tied Pride to that one gate, that was a tunnel that seemed to go kind of deep. Huh, that's a random thought. And I go back to looting my back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're planning. I'm on the other side of the wall in a room. Yeah. Well, you probably hear. It's not like it's that thick of a wall. Well, I, I guess it all depends on how focused you are. Plus all the clanging of filling up the bag as well, so. Okay. I'll just wait until they come in and they can tell me what's up. Couldn't and then Pride I can also them. make this intelligence roll? He was tied to the gate. That's he rolled an eight. Pr he Pride, did. Pride rolled an eight, so. Yeah. Never mind. I know, no, that's why it's like, can I have it with advantage? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why. It would have made sense because I did hear the zombies behind me. Uh, shh. Yeah, okay, sure. And the reason why I didn't give it to you, Din and Grok, is because you got taken in a different direction. You probably didn't yep. even know at all about that gate. Yep, we wouldn't oh, know. Oh, yeah, I, I thought I had an idea. I wanted to wonder about... I was kind of wondering about something else. Um, is there any way I could also roll a nature roll since I'm proficient? Mm hmm 
yeah, yeah. If you have if you have rank if you are proficient you can roll it go for it because like I wanted to know if maybe I could know anything about this plant too uh well I mean you know Barry kind of just read everything yeah her, her role yeah. was yeah. pretty good I've pretty much read all the things that are important um I will send you the link though because you very well could also just know these things yeah, let me just roll and things. you might have a different interpretation so if you oh, want to no, I roll the four cat. it's four I roll the four right. it's like it is what it is man that's a really big stinky flower yeah and he's yeah. got disadvantage on smells. Well, he has advantage, and since this is stinky, I would give him disadvantage. Yeah. Well, it says I have uh, advantage on wisdom and uh, that rely on smell and taste. Wait, yeah, so I'm, just, sm I'm saying the smell is so overpowering, it's kind of so noxious and confusing. It's disorienting you, it's so overwhelming. You feel mm -hmm. sick to your tummy. Wait, since I'm smelling this thing, could that help my nature roll since Intelligence check? Uh, I mean, Barry literally so, just told you yeah, everything about yeah, literally already she, know. Not only that, she told you that it's poisonous and you shouldn't breathe too hard and you are actively inhaling deeply. Yeah. <laughs> to learn well, more we already about passed it. The con check, so. <laughs> uh, well, also, also you know, I thought Clyde was a double. Double. So. What was oh? But yeah, I'll yeah, let just, Pride have uh, the advantage on that intelligence. Yeah, I was just kind of wondering because I kind of wanted to see the stat thing too for the plant. That's all. Hey, I just did a link to what I was looking at. You can just click on it and look if you want oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah, corpse she, flower. She shared all of this information, oh, so anybody okay, can click okay. on it and look now. Mm -hmm. She told you all but about I, it. I don't know. I was just wondering about that. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Warden Kynan's tome of foes. So, is it still Barry's turn, or was it Benedict's? Chandra's turn? Uh, I used my action rolling and knowledge nature, so okay. yeah, yeah, move on. Uh, so, Benedict is currently staring down a panther. Intimidation. Seven. Oh boy, let me roll for it. <laughs> I think it's just constitution, or wisdom? Charisma. I think it's wisdom. Charisma. Oh, there's the seven. Jeez. That was light. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck did I put the Panthers stats? I think I might have exited out of it. Hold on. Is it really charisma to be not intimidated? It's constitution or wisdom save, right? Mm -hmm. Some people play it as charisma. I had to kind people of play it as a will. Well, I've known people who use charisma as the intimidation rather than the save. Well, well it, it is intimidation. Er, yeah, it is charisma. Is charisma. Yeah. In, uh, oh, charisma or strength, I've heard. Well, it, it's no, your it's insight. Actually... Uh, so it would be versus. Yeah. Um, it would be their insight versus his intimidation check. Uh, so yeah. it would be uh, wisdom. wisdom. Insight versus charisma. the save. Yeah, mm -hmm. intimidation uh, just straight up is uh, a charisma check in yeah. like uh, on the. All right, so if it's page. just wisdom, okay. Time to roll. Ten. It's not amused. <laughs> it's like an actual cat. <laughs> it's also not just a ten. It is twelve with well, yeah. the modifier. Yeah. Still enough to beat the seven, which mm -hmm. was a two plus five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, its stats are not actually as good as the giant elk. Well, it's a giant. <clears throat> oh, it is a panther. The panther stats are literally average. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, Benedict is just gonna walk over his Elizabeth and just stand by her side, pretty much. Okay. All four of you guys gotta move close to Elizabeth. Now, would the panther get an attack of opportunity thinking it's a foe, or... Now, you're far it enough away. It wouldn't think that Benedict is a foe, because it's not aggressive to any of my allies. Gotcha. Uh... Cool, now we go back up to Pride, and I will allow that intelligence roll of 20 to stand. If you wanted to, like tell a group about the passage and all that. Well, 
Seems like there might be a passage out where they, well, where I was chained up. And where the zombies came from. Oh, good. Um, we can just make our way through that then and see if someone else can deal with this problem. Actually, no. It probably leads to the roots of that giant flower. Hmm. So we have a scenario in which if we kill this flower, it will poison everything around it. And if we don't kill this flower, it will poison everything around it. So if we kill it, it'll do it in an explosion. Hmm. And not just constantly poison everything around it, just by existing. How big is the explosion? How, how, like, what's the radius of the explosion? We don't know. Uh, big? Um, big? It's a big flower. I'd say maybe... Oh. Eyeballing the flower size 300 feet. On a river current as well, so it would probably, uh, you know, spread. Well, well, my honest opinion, we should probably leave it alone because the surrounding area is fucked regardless. Hmm. I'm sure there's someone who can take care of it. I don't think we are the ones equipped to do so. Yeah, we are. We're really we are especially not. not. So we're all in agreement. We're just going to leave. Yep, let's we're going to leave. leave. Notify the anyone. Notify. Well, of course, but we have to get out of here to do that first, huh? Yes, we're going. Oh there. yeah, that reminds me. Should probably, uh, you see, Pry just put take a card out of his uh, card holster on his belt, hold it to his throat, and he'll cast Thaumaturgy, and he'll just yell out, "Knights of Samular, get out of the surrounding area as quick as you can." What was that you just did? Magic. Well, yes. That was obvious. I use... You gonna give any more context about what you just did and how that was helpful in any way? Simple. I told the people that we brought with us to get out of here. So that way, they don't die. She's asking what thaumaturgy is. No, she she wanted to know why he just screamed out into the sky. Oh, hey, oh. get out of here! <laughs> like one of those cards. You would have screamed. <laughs> cards are just playing cards. He was doing it for flair. Yeah. Mm. That and they are also one of his catalysts for magic. She's also a bard. She knows what thaumaturgy is. It was more of a, mm -hmm. hey, why? You why how was that helpful? Who were uh, you talking to? Oh, because she doesn't know that there's knights outside, right? Yeah, yes. she has no idea. Well, that's good. Hopefully this whole dome's keeping it in here and not out there. Uh, no, I had said that the flower had uh, spread up above the dome. Ah, oh, never mind then. Oh. Oh, then we're fine. If it explodes, and so long as the uh, dome stays intact, we'll not die. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's also a dome made of Plants. vines that are intertwined. Yeah, that's why I said that out of character. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd also Theoretically, probably... if the dove flower dies first and then the dome withers, we're good. And if you're underground, I you mean, know, it's not like a it's... stupid thought. <laughs> what if it's not a dome? Because I just realized something. Why the... If... What if... Just humor this concept... What if it, what if that's its body that's forming? Like, like the what, stem? That, that's, like that's the head? Or a middle finger? <laughs> they're they're pretty much fine, so I was up close and personal. Honestly, or I was at going least to... somehow they're probably the roots of the corpse flower. That's also this possible. Is also out of character. Oh, okay. I just oh, made an okay. intelligence check for her to realize, hey, underground, <laughs> which is a good point. She's not made that connection. Anyone else want to make an intelligence check for that one? I think I my one's what's going stands. on, so I don't think I should. My, I was almost about to just say out of character that it could just be like, if this is a dome and that flower is kind of pretty looking, I'm just like, 
that's sticking out of the dome. Is this just like a giant plant boob? I knew we were going there, but I didn't know anyway, to stop I, it. I end my turn, and it is now Grok's turn. Um, I swear to God, I hope I'm wrong about that, though. Yeah. Yeah. First things hmm. first, I'm going to call out uh, 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 Pride. The, the, the thing you just did. D do that. Like, I like pointing to my throat. What? Put, put the, the, the cod thing. You just did. Well, alright, I'll use my reaction to point the card at Grok and cast Thaumaturgy. <laughs> North, get your butt out here, we're getting the hell out. Because I want to make sure he hears me. <laughs> Now the question is, do I hear him? Uh, I how just, can you not? He used a yeah. thaumaturgy. thaumaturgy. So, yeah. yeah, okay. Think about yeah. it like this. Thaumaturgy on its own can just create the sound of a thunderclap. Yeah, okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were just, I thought we were going to go in there so we could just use... You guys Wait. can't sprint, though. Yeah, we're not equipped to handle this thing. Yeah. Oh, right, right, okay. Besides, why would we bother killing it? Because then we'll just be blamed for the Wait, outcome what? of its death. Wait, what are you talking about killing it? I said I thought we were going to grab the weapons and the armor. Oh. That's what that's selling. what Northernus oh. is doing right now. Well, mm -hmm. to be fair, getting uh, away before it goes off. Can I just get whoever wants to roll me another uh, nature check? Anybody, proficient sure. or not? Okay. Well, you said proficient or not, so I can. I don't have proficiency with this. Net 20. <laughs> I got a 12. I'm going to go and give it to Grok specifically. I know that... Hey, uh, I, know. I might get a net 20. No. I, I know a 20. I know Shandry, you got higher than Grok, even with his natural 20. No, it's but, fine. He got a net 20. Give it to him. Uh, I'm going to give it to him because his backstory... Well, I'm gonna give it to you as well, actually, because okay. uh, he spent time on a farm. You spent time on mm -hmm. a plantation, so you understand how plants work. Yes. Plants Which is why usually... she has an all of nature in the first place. Uh, plants usually absorb a lot of nutrients from all around as well. So it's uh, just gonna keep growing because it's something's covered in water. just occurred to me. Mm hmm. I think we just had the same thought. What else is it yep. eating? This thing is stuck in the life out of the, the direct area. See, I'll give you guys the insight of where I got a bit of this inspiration from. I was watching a documentary on why avocados are actually really bad for the environment. Hmm. Because they take up so much water uh, just to make a plant that takes like 10 years before it can even bear fruit. Uh, it robs a lot of the soil of the nutrients around it just for a fruit to take 10 years to properly bloom. Jesus. That avocado trees have created vast deserts of farmers not prepared uh, to deal with the climate and conditions it needs to raise avocado trees. So avocado trees have a large nutrient intake as well as water intake. Yes. Fascinating. And not to mention the, f the invention of avocado to toast. Ugh. Well, that's Damn just it. Masters. Everyone loves avocados, uh, but it's one of those things. It's like with, not to get off on a political rant, but everyone likes beef. Okay, most people like beef, but a lot of people don't stop to think that all those cows across the world fart. Yeah, and methane, yes. Yeah, cow yeah. methane is actually a really bad cause of global warming. Yes. So killing the cows is good for the environment. Raising them is the bad part. Raising cows is bad for the environment. Raising avocados is bad for the environment. Well, so raising avocados beef. without the proper preparation, but Especially, that proper preparation would be expensive. Mostly what it is is uh, water. Uh, the climates needed, uh, the heat and climates rate needed to raise avocados are typically the warmer regions of uh, South America that might not necessarily have water. Hmm. Clearly the solution to this is to uh, genetically modify the cows to not fart. Clearly the <laughs> solution to this is to make genetically modified It's like beef. Yeah. Home uh, lab grown meat. Yes. Alright. 
Okay. Like that one episode of Dilbert cartoon, the Tomito. <laughs> you know, would that Tomato be cartoon. able to be classified as beef? No, it's vegetable. Actually, it's fruit. Huh. Yeah. The next thing you're going to say is that tomatoes are fruits. They are. They're yeah, candy. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know. And that's so, uh, no we're trying sense. to get away from this. Yeah, yeah we're flowers. Yeah. 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 We've just realized it's just sucking the life out of everything around it and also is very stinky. <coughs> Dragon Ball Tree of Might. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought about that too. Um. Real quick, out of game question, because I know you told us about it, but I'm not sure if you told us about the game. Do we know that the American plane shift? Oh yeah, you figured out. Uh, well, I don't know if you figured out in in game, out of game, you figured out he was hella strong. Yeah, that's why I'm just trying to make sure. Well, like, yes, if... we don't even need that anymore. Well, no, yes, I know, but in the case, I'm See, just kind of figuring. Because we can't yes, plane shift back to Mechanus. Shift. Yeah, we can't plane shift we ourselves. We can go directly we some... back to the airplane, though. Mm -hmm. No, we can't. We need to be in the airplane to do that. No, we no. can. It we... became oh, thought... rectified. Pay yeah, we. Be yeah, be thought... No, because Paylor you um, you, um, okay. you attuned Paylor to it while you were there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Paylor yeah, but I thought you said that we still had to be in the airplane to be able to no, go. No, Paylor upgraded the stone. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I thought after a payload, I thought you meant that we, like, you just, yeah, but no. whatever, that's fine. Okay. No. Any, but, um, any stone that we have attuned to, we can... Teleport to, regardless of the regard plane we're on. Yeah, except for, uh... Mykonos. Because we it, don't have, but we didn't find a stone there. You didn't yeah. look, really. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we need to plane shift to Mykonos. Mm -hmm. Do you think payload could destroy this thing without causing damage? We None can't. of you guys are clerics. Yeah, we have no way to well, contact Well, no, I mean, could we literally just send this to that material plane and just send it and just set it off? No. We, we, did, we don't have a stone to the fine material plane. Plus also, um, I already used our religion check on the crystal to contact Paylor, and we gotta wait a week for that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was every day. No, no. once a week. Oh. That level of channel divinity is once a week. Oh, it's okay. in the player's handbook. Uh, it's a cleric thing. Uh, uh, divine intervention. Yeah. So it's still okay, Grok's yeah, turn. We... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I was just wondering about some stuff because, yeah. Mm hmm. So, anything else? Yes. Grok. Grok's turn. Uh, well, I mean, I basically, it's like, all right, everyone group up and stay close. We'll just kind of move right. Yeah. Here. Are we still in initiative at this point? Yeah. Uh, you're not really in. The initiative was just simply just to all you take turns, just to try and take turns. But it's to not like you're in any combat. Yeah. To streamline things. Because otherwise it would have been a, a mess. Mm. But everybody avoided combat pretty much the entire time. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> And if you want, Benedict, I can clearly say, I can say a minute has absolutely gone by that there's not four of you anymore. Uh, no, it's fine. It would make confusion. Hilarity. Well, mirror image only lasts a minute. That's yeah, true. Yeah. And we definitely. Yeah. A like, minute would only take like about like one turn anyway, so. More or less. Mm -hmm. I hope in uh. uh oh, dungeon... now the flower looks really rude. <laughs> Like... I hope in uh, Dungeons Dragons uh, Sixth Edition they get rid of um, feet and turns and all, and they just simply make it that it takes you so many turns to cast the spell, or it lasts so many turns as opposed to a minute, an hour, because six seconds per turn is kind of dumb. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to say that I've got everything out of the armory and I'm walking out. If we're not following turn order anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say at this point we all kind of grouped up and then, like, when we have all just grouped up and then just teleported over back to the, uh, to that, to where the soldiers are. Well, I think, well, Northerners only heard Grok. He didn't hear about what else is going on. Because I think. All... I mean, he also would have heard Pry go, "Get out or you'll die." 
Yeah. So what's up? You guys are not going to go underground. You're just going to leave the place. The For impenetrable the walls. I'm just saying, you couldn't get out. Well, How are you going to get back in? One thing I'm going to... Well, I'm going to say, I'm probably going to guess right now that everyone's brought Northerness up to speed about what they're talking about, about the yeah. corpse flower and everything. I want... For for expediency, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Northerness is just their thinking, and I'm going to probably assume, based off backstory mm -hmm. stuff, he's going to make an Id a suggestion. Wouldn't the flames of... If we were to set this place on fire, wouldn't the flames basically cancel out, cancel out the spores' effects from spreading? I don't think so. I'm not sure the fire would ride we, quite that we way. We need a really big flame. Bigger than any of us are capable of producing. I think our best bet is probably going to be... To make sure the area is cleared, and then get to it at its roots. If we could find a way not to breathe, that would actually be fantastic. Grok can do that. Yeah, I, I can hold my breath for about an hour. Yeah, not all of us can do that, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want you down there hacking at the roots by yourself. Um, well, the thing the is, the spores that it releases it wouldn't be released through the roots but rather up by the flower that is true if we just we need to make sure that if it does release it's contained we really need to survey what kind of damage it's doing if we Actually, can just pop out and have a look well you know there's a little one just a few feet away from you guys yeah there's a smaller uh, corpse flower over in the uh, dining uh, area do, 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 do. We can kill Hello. Hello. What did um, you find? Okay. Ghost, how big yes. is the top of the flower? Uh, it hasn't fully bloomed yet, but if I had to guess, let's say, uh, yeah, ten. Is it less than ten feet? Oh, it's way bigger than ten feet. Hmm. It's probably gonna be about. Let's see about. Right now, it hasn't bloomed yet. It's close to about 50 feet. Ah. Wait, is that, like, in the center of, like, where... Is that including the petals? Uh... It hasn't opened yet, so it's... Once it opens, it's probably going to quadruple in size, so, like, being Shit. over 120 feet wide. All it's right. still a bud. Like, the flower you see on the map, that was literally just me trying to draw a middle finger. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not bloomed yet. But the smell that's coming off of it is very rem uh, It's very similar to that corpse flower, the little one you fought in, or you saw yeah. in uh, the Great Hall. Mm. See, the, the idea I had was... When Northness opened the chests, he found a scroll of War, war Force. And, and as I was just reading that. Right, the scroll can basically create a sphere with a radius up to 10 feet or anything in a particular shape. And. Da -da 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 -da. War Force. Uh, Nothing can physically pass through the wall and is immune to all damage and it can't be dispelled by magic and so I mean, so I would forth. probably allow that vapors wouldn't be able to pass through that. Yeah. All the spores. So... Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Mm. It also says the wall also extends into the ethereal plane blocking the ethereal travel through the wall. So, so the idea was I was going to We'll send someone up there, probably Grok. He can set it on fire and cast Wall of Force, and it will keep contain it when it explodes. But because of have power. you ever tried? Have you ever tried pulling a dandelion out from the ground? Yeah, I've I've got an idea actually. 
We can cast enlarge reduce onto it and reduce its size. It can't be polymorphed. Enlarge reduce isn't polymorph. But it is changing its shape though. Yeah, it, it can't. We can't change its shape. Mm. That is specifically a thing that it says that we can't do. Yep. What if... Well, no, I wouldn't have seen Benedict do... Oh, actually. Ghost, would have... Would Norfinus have seen Benedict being huge? He's kind of hard to miss. You were on the roof. Mm hmm Mm. Okay. What if Benedict casts Enlargen again, Din gives him the sec the other enlarging potion? Would that be big enough for Benedict to rip the plan out and maybe shove it on the ground? <laughs> It still depends on if it would just if it would again it's like have you ever tried pulling a dandelion out from the ground yeah it spreads unless you get the roots <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah we're, we're spending a lot of time talking about this we should really try and leave to have a look figure out what's around us see if we can't get people evacuated that need to be evacuated and then enact a plan with other people who might be more qualified to deal with this than we are. Yeah. You know, short of me just telling you guys to fucking go underground and take care of the roots. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, but it's still going to explode above ground and cause massive damage. We would like to minimize that damage if possible. That is. Hmm. Uh, I was going to just have it wither and just shrivel because yeah. you cut off its supply and it hasn't bloomed yet. It's According like, to its thing, fetid burst happens when it dies. Yeah, but it when hasn't bloomed. When the fire is destroyed, it explodes with the final has, burst of compressed okay, gas. It has, it has, it has, because it hasn't bloomed, we don't have to worry. Yeah, because it hasn't bloomed, we can just do it. So yeah, he's just kind of trying to get it. He, like he, like he's just trying to kind of tell us that we can just kill this thing now, so that way we don't have to like yeah make this whole entire big thing because it's not it doesn't have anything to do with the main story at all. Yeah, it's just kind of something to do for fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move underground. Yep. <sighs> Ghost is tired of her shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired, tired of your enough. shit because I couldn't make it any more obvious that you couldn't escape. You made it plenty obvious, but we were following the rules of the game. Also, also we, also we like, can't honestly, escape. That's we, the thing. Honestly, well, I was like, saying yes. You could have used your shit, uh, your uh, your gem to escape, but you would not have been able to get back in. That is the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like the th yeah, and honestly, the thing is, like, it's. I mean, yeah, there are, is the rules, but that doesn't mean we like the DM can't really he change things at, too. He at no point in any of our nature rules told us that because it was not bloomed, a fetid burst would not come into effect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we yeah, had no true. way of knowing this wouldn't be a problem. Yes. Yeah, that's true. We, like, we actually had no idea until you told because yeah. we had nothing that could tell us that that would happen. Mm. Well, now we do. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. Yep. Uh, let's just let's just kill this thing because like I mean I, I, yeah, I'm sorry sorry about that everyone I guess Chandri and Ghost in this case yep <laughs> all right we'll take care of this next week when you guys decide to go underground okay mm -hmm. because spoilers it's a big map yeah, yeah. okay so I guess we're ending oh, it now a then whole map upon itself probably for the best we went late last night or last week. last yeah. week yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a whole map on its own. Mm. All right. Now, will the group deal with this giant fucking flower? Without it exploding Probably. in the faces? Just... Yeah. Just Does Pride give a shit about the consequences of letting it live or letting it die? Fuck no. Because <laughs> he doesn't about anyone but himself. Not <laughs> true. If he did, he wouldn't have bothered telling the Ninth Cellular to fuck off. Yeah. Alright. Tune in next week to see what happens. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.